Hi, this is attorney Nicole Christie from the Christie Law Firm, where we work hard to make families stronger. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how to prove your sobriety and the different types of tests that you could be asked to complete in order to prove your sobriety. So in the previous video, I talked about the importance of that and what is necessary, those kinds of tests. And so today I wanna to talk to you about the, the tests that they you, you could be asked to complete. So most of the time you're gonna be asked to take a urine test. And so you provide a urine sample and that will be tested to determine if you have anything in your system. Now you have to keep in mind that certain types of drugs stay in your system longer than others. I am not here to educate on that. I went to law school. I am not a scientist, but I just know that there are certain drugs that stay in your system a little bit longer and takes some time before they clear. So keep that in mind. So one of the things that I tell parents, if that's going to be your first screen and you know it's positive, it just becomes your baseline. Don't worry about that, but it's the the tests that come after that that's going to be a concern. So you wanna make sure that you have negative tests or at least whatever is in your system is going down because if it comes back up, that indicates new use. So if you have a certain level and it's you know one level and instead of it going down, it's going back up, that would indicate that you've probably used that substance again. So you wanna make sure that you keep those urine screens negative going forward. The next test that is a possibility is I've actually seen this in criminal court, not so much in DCF, but they could do a blood test. Now, sometimes the blood test is actually a little bit more reliable than the urine, um, just because that means it's truly been processed in your system. I have not seen a blood test typically with DCF. However, the way that it can come to DCF's attention is if you're in a car accident and the police have some reason to believe you were under the influence and you ended up at the hospital and blood is drawn, that information could end up in DCF's hands to prove that your alcohol level was higher than the legal limit at that time. It would take a lot to actually get that information and probably some court orders. However, that is one way that that blood test could end up in DCF's hands, but for the most part, DCF does not do blood tests. What I have seen um, happen most recently and with some frequency is hair tests. And so they will cut a portion of your hair and not DCF, but they'll send you to a facility to cut a portion of your hair. And the way that that works is they take a particular segment of your hair and it can go back to up to 90 days. And at every 30 day segment, they can tell what's been in your system. That has a higher level of accuracy than even urine because it can go back 90 days. And again, what I tell clients is that it's important to know for yourself and to be honest to be able to say at least start with us as your attorney and then we can you know work on the best answer for that but the hair test is what actually is becoming an increasing um request that we have seen that they want a hair test from the client especially when the client is maintaining that they are sober and they think that's not true and they have some reason to believe it's not true. So keep that in mind um, when dealing with a hair test. I have seen hair tests actually be incredible because sometimes something happens at that lab or something happens with the handling of a urine sample and i've had a client whose urine samples were positive but we actually had her do a hair test which was absolutely negative and that is how we were able to get her child back because dcf was putting a complete hold on reunification because she had quote a positive urine screen but we were able to use a hair test to show that she was actually negative for any substances so a hair test is a great way also, especially if you know you've not, you haven't been using, but something is going on, you can use a hair test to establish your sobriety. Another piece of equipment that I've seen come about, and it's actually used often in family court, is a sober link. And there's Soberlink and there's also a, a somewhat of an ankle bracelet that DCF is also starting to ask for that can detect whether or not a person is using alcohol. I'm not familiar with the actual ankle bracelet, but I do know about Soberlink. I wanna also say that I am not 
a uh, sponsored person for Soberlink. I'm not getting paid to actually recommend Soberlink. I just know about its existence and what I have been able to help clients who actually do this Soberlink, they can use that, especially when alcohol is the the issue, they can blow into this Soberlink and Soberlink can actually send the results to whoever you designate. So it can send the results to the DCF worker or a relative. And I've seen it be used to help parents establish that they're not drinking anymore. And what I like about Soberlink is that it will indicate to the person, hey, you need to take the test, they take the test and uh, they will establish that it's actually used. Some of the more pricier sober links will actually take your picture before you blow into the item and they can send that report. And so the only thing about Soberlink is that it does have a cost, it can get costly, but if you have the means by which to use that, I find it also to be a bit more convenient than having to stop in the middle of your day and go to a facility and you know have a test be done there. So there are different ways to establish your sobriety. Again, there's different types of tests. Sometimes DCF likes to dictate that to you, but as your attorney, I might recommend a different kind of test depending on what the circumstances are, just so that we can establish your sobriety through that. And as I pointed out in the other video, you can't just tell them I stopped using. Unfortunately, they will not take your word for it. Those tests are gonna be your backup and those tests are gonna be so key in getting your kids back or getting DCF out of your life because there's no longer concern around your sobriety. So if you have any other questions, you have any other concerns please don't hesitate to contact us we have a ton of videos here or I should say a ton a lot of videos here on our YouTube channel around dealing with DCF and we're hopeful that it will be good for you and helpful to you and so that you can do what you need to do to make your family stronger take care bye bye